everybody, are you ready for a better signal? I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews, and today I'm gonna to be talking about this waveform antenna. Now, a few years ago, I had a cable for my internet, and then I decided I was gonna cut the cable altogether, and I was gonna go from my cell company and get a uh, internet box. So I went to T-Mobile, I got their new internet box. It's got four connectors on the back and this is what it looks like. And what I decided to do was get this antenna so I could get a better signal. Now, right now I'm usually getting about between 50 and 350 down and sometimes I'm getting about 10 to about 40 up. So I figured to consistently keep the speed up, I wanted to get a better antenna. So I ended up getting this antenna from Waveform. So what I'm gonna do is open up the box. Okay. This tape is really tough. And we'll remove this packing material. And here we've got some small thin cables, which will go uh, into a, I think this goes into the older T-Mobile box and maybe into the Verizon box, and I'm not really sure. Then you've got this um, guaranteed bars. There's probably like a book in here or something. I'll open it up real quick so we can see what's inside. Oh, wow, they give you chocolate. Isn't that great? That's so nice. You get three bars of waveform chocolate. Added, added extra plus. That's an added extra plus. Three bars of chocolate. You can't beat that. Then we've got a manual that uh, it says, please read first. So you probably want to read this before you install stuff. Now, I, I also wanted some extra cables, so they, uh, they put in the extra cable for me, and this is a 20-foot um, extension cable, and I'll break that out later. You'll see what's included in here. And then this one right here is the, uh, is the standard cable, and this is that, okay. And then this here, let me just put this down, this here is the through the window bag. And let's open that up, see what that looks like. This is so if you wanna put it through your window and you, you can close your window on this thin ribbon right here. This is really nice. I don't think I'm gonna end up using this um, in my installation. Okay. And like I said, here's the other smaller ones. And then last but not least, this is the main antenna. Okay. Now this is your antenna. Ooh. This is where the bracket connects to it. Can I put this knife down so I don't hurt myself? And these are the, uh, the four cables that will end up um, hooking up to the other cable. This is uh, cable management. And this right here is a flex mount antenna mounting bracket. and it probably goes on one of these ways. We'll just have to read the instructions and see how it all goes together. I just kind of wanted to show you what is in the box. And then here are, uh, here's some mounting hardware for mounting it on the side of your house. They even give you wrenches, which is pretty amazing. They're made really, really nice. They're Wins wrenches, uh, good quality wrench. 
and um, and that's basically everything that's here. And I'll be back in a little while, and we'll get to the install, and I'll show you why I'm installing it and how I'm installing it and all the steps involved. These are all the parts you need to mount your antenna to the post. These are really, really nice. They're made out of stainless steel. The tools are really, really nice as well. You've got everything here to mount it to the post, but I'm gonna use my own ratchet wrench to make the job a little bit easier. So I've read the manual and I know how to do the installation now. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna install the back plate. So what you need to do is you need to remove these pieces of plastic that are protecting the threads. The next thing we need to do is we need to remove these nuts, the locks, and the washers. So now I've removed all the nuts, and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece and that is going to slide on to these screws just like that. And what we're going to do first is, first you're gonna put a washer on all four, like so, okay. And then what you're gonna do is put a lock washer on each one, like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this ground. We're going to put this ground right here. We'll put a lock washer on top of that. And that lock washer fell off, so we'll put it back on. And now what we'll do is we'll put the nuts on. Okay. So, okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this wrench, which will be easier and faster for me, and we're just going to snug all these up, but don't make it too tight because you don't want to end up breaking the plastic, so just make it, you know, finger tight. like that. Now, I decided I'm going to use this type of a mount and I'm gonna use a big pole. So I've changed my clothes, I'm ready to go to work. You've seen the unboxing, you see the product. Now I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna mount it. I'm gonna end up using this large pole to put the antenna on the top of this and I'm gonna to explain to you the reason why. Basically, if I mount it on the roof peak up there, I'll have a better line of sight with the transmitting tower that's going to be transmitting to my hub or my router. What I did was I built this right here, and this is going to go up in that corner, as you can see by this close-up, and the pole will mount in this apparatus, which you can get at just about any uh, box store. That's gonna mount right onto the front of this, just like so, you can see. And this little short piece is just as a model to show you folks how it's gonna mount onto this piece of wood. So I'm gonna go up top, I'm gonna um, install this piece, put this on, and then I'll show you what it looks like with the antenna on it. So this is what the final installation looks like up from the roof. You can see I've got it pointing out at where it needs to be. And uh, it's a pretty nice installation. Let's go down to the ground and see what the final installation looks like. This is the preliminary setup. It hasn't totally been wired in permanently now, but um, I just did a test and the test worked, so disconnected the wires and I'm gonna run them now. So here's my final installation. I think it came out pretty good. I should have used white tape, but instead I used black tape. 
So the dirty part of the job is done. I've got the antenna installed. I've run the wires through the attic. And now I'm just going to finish pulling the wires through and we're going to attach them to the unit and we'll see how this antenna works. So as you can see, I have my cable pulled through the wall. I used a cable management system by a company called Echo Gear. And I really, really like these plates because they have these bristle things and it only allows for the cable to come through and nothing else from your attic. I will include a link down below where you can find this product. So if you didn't get one of these yellow bags in with your kit, you really, really need them. What they are is they're 90 degree SMA connectors and uh, they say on the bag, right angle SMA male to SMA female adapters. You're gonna need four of these. This is your right angle SMA connector. And SMA connectors are really fragile, so you never want to over tighten them. The answer to that is something that I have from when I was in the RF business. This is what's called an SMA torque wrench, and they're 5 sixteenths. Now, you can use a regular standard 5 sixteenths inch wrench, but just make sure not to over tighten it. If you'd like to get an SMA torque wrench, I will include a link down below where you can buy one. This is the back of my T-Mobile unit. And as you can see, there are four SMA connections on the back. And they're numbered one, two, three, and four. Now, your cables also say one, two, three, and four. And you have to make sure that you put them on the back of this in the same order. So this is how the SMA connectors connect to the back of the T-Mobile unit if you don't use the 45 degree angle connectors. Now, it makes it extremely hard if you wanna stand it up. It will not stand up and it puts too much stress on the cables. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now with the 90 degree SMA connectors. They refer to them as right angle SMA connectors. For those of you who have never used a torque wrench on something, what happens is a torque wrench will break. It'll click when it reaches the specific tightness that you're looking for. Since this wrench is made specifically for SMAs, uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. You put the torque wrench on, you make sure that your connector is straight up and down, and see, it doesn't let it over tighten. Now this is how your cable should look once they're hooked up to the 90 degree SMA connectors. As you can see, the box will sit on its own stand a lot easier this way. I would suggest going with the 90 degree SMAs because it'll sit on your shelf way nicer. So now I'm gonna show you how to switch the antennas from the internal to the external. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is light up your display. You're gonna hit that button and as you can see right now, my signal is very good, but it's not great. It fluctuates. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come down to these buttons and push it four times. One, two, three, four and that will be your antenna selection now what you want to do is you want to push this for change you're going to push this to switch to external push the button wait for it to tell you it's okay hit okay and away you go but i don't have my antennas hooked up yet so we'll see what it looks like once my antennas are hooked up this is what my signal looked like before I added the waveform antenna. Now this is what it looked like after. So what do I think of this waveform antenna kit? I'd have to say 
I think it worked really, really well for me. It increased my down speed as well as my up speed. My up speed, it increased incredibly. The ease of installation was, it was pretty simple. I had to make a couple of modifications in my pole. My pole was too thin for their, uh, for their actual mount, so I improvised. But I've been talking to the manufacturer and they say they will possibly work on that. Uh, one thing that you may want to ask if it's not included in the kit is 90 degree angles for the SMA connectors. Like I said, super simple otherwise to install. Uh, you just have to find out where your towers are for your cell um, and point it that way. You can kind of sight it in up and down side to side and look for your highest numbers. But like I said, for me, it was pretty simple. I would rate this antenna extremely high and I really, really like the kit. It looks awesome, as you can see here. And uh, I think it's great. So until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews. If you have any questions, leave them below. Please like us, please share us, and most of all, until next time, bye-bye.